delicious Singapore hawker foods at Geylang East Food Quarter. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We are at Geylang East Food Center, or they call it this place Food Corner, to try some delicious good foods like this fish soup, which is surprisingly very good. And this fried Hokkien prawn mee. This soup, this pig organ soup, with lots of different pig organ parts inside, and some bong hyang together with that. So join me as I eat my way through this food center. And the only way to see what I actually ate here is for you to tune in until after the intro. As in all food journeys, our food adventure will start with how to get there. First of all, get to Aljunit MRT station, which is on the east-west line. So once you get to the east-west line, this MRT station, you head towards exit B. So you get out of the gantry, you turn right, and you walk through these doors, walk straight, and then you turn left. So you turn left here and head down, walk down all the way to the street. And at the street there, the street in front of us is actually called Aljunit Street. So that's the street. So we need to cross to the other side. So the best way to do that is to take this overhead bridge. And I'm going to cross here and then get down the other side to cross the roads because Aljunit Road is a very busy road. So it's the safest way to do it, to cross, is to take the overhead bridge and from here you can actually see the MRT tracks there is the east-west line and we're going to go down here to walk down the stairs so what we did was we get out of the MRT station walk down here got onto the overhead bridge crossed the road came down and right next to the overhead bridge is this bus stop that we are looking for which is the opposite Aljunit station bus stop so from this bus stop we are going to take bus 8080 and you stop on the 3 bus stops away so it will be the third bus stop from this bus stop and the bus will go down Aljunit road then turn onto Geylang East Central and then you just wait for the third bus stop and this is the third bus stop which is the Geylang Polyclinic bus stop and you took bus 80 and this is the third bus stop so this bus stop is called the Polyclinic bus stop is because diagonally opposite from the bus stop is actually the Polyclinic which is over that direction which is just right next to the overhead bridge here and that is the polyclinic so what you're going to do is from the bus stop you're going to head into the, the block there that direction so the food center is actually behind the polyclinic so you need to go through these like shops here underneath all the HDB block so this is the polyclinic or at least the back of the polyclinic so you go through, walk past the polyclinic, walk past all the blocks here, right in between past those trees is the food center. And here it is, the Geylang East Food Corner. A place which is a bit out of the way. Um, you won't know it's here unless you know what you're looking for. Once you cross the road, you'll be at the food center. And here, the Geylang East Market and Food Corner or Food Center has lots of delicious good food that we're going to try and we're going to see here and I was surprised that there's actually a lot of good food here to eat 
very very surprised and the first place we're going to is this shop here called Ik Ki Haslet Soup and Haslet which I had to actually refer to the dictionary actually means like uh, internal organs of an animal or a meatloaf made out of those organs but here what we have is actually pig's organ soup in total everything here you see cost me seven dollars and fifty cents which is I think four dollars for the soup then you have uh, fifty cents for the rice and then two more yang. but let's just talk about the soup the soup here is really really good it's like a distilled concentrated full flavored pork soup very delicious with a like of with a bit of pork organs flavor in there the soup when you first drink it you get a nice hit of salty peppery goodness almost like eating pakute and it goes very well with rice the gohyang even though it's okay but it pales in comparison to the soup the soup here is so good then you also have the things inside the soup like the intestines which is a bit chewy then you have the liver and meatballs which they did it well then the pork belly and lean meat which was a bit overcooked but what's really good here what's really totally delicious what will make me come back is the soup which you eat it together with the rice so good oh and as i was looking around i found this promising place called ming yun famous fried hokkien prawn noodles and this place looks very promising so i decided to give it a try it cost me four dollars for a small plate of fried hokkien prawn meat and here is the noodles looks very promising first of all it's a very nice delicious hokkien prawn me fragrance coming from the noodles and the noodles here i must say they fry the noodles here very well lots of egg the hokkien prawn me here is the dry version because the soup stock is actually absorbed into the noodles and when you eat it it has the right what you expect from the hokkien uh, prawn me the right slurpiness when you eat the noodles with all everything the right mouth feel when you bite into the noodles everything you are looking for is there it has a nice uh, garlic taste together with an egg taste to it but one thing missing maybe it's just my particular uh, noodles here but I felt that it doesn't have the intense seafood stock flavor the soup that they pour onto the the soup stock that they pour onto the noodles that soup stock doesn't has that intense seafood flavor that i'm looking for that somehow is missing from this dish it could be that at that day itself it wasn't uh, the soup stock wasn't that good but somehow for me this particular dish is missing that important flavor smell ingredient and another surprise find that I found here is from this shop here called Ng Sun Hi Fish and Duck Porridge. Here they sell fish soup and duck porridge. I, what I ordered from here is actually their fish soup. Um, instead of ordering the $3 one, I ordered the $5 portion for fish soup and extra $0.50 cent for rice. First of all, the fish soup here, they do it really well. The fish soup has very nice strong flavors with a slight preserved vegetable spiciness to it a very well balanced soup well balanced flavors and the fish also good bouncy and has a very nice bite to it the cabbage here is also still crunchy the rice they actually put a bit of the braising sauce that they use for the duck and when you eat the rice together with the soup you can actually taste the duck flavor in the rice which is really nice which is something different but what's really good here what you should come here for is the fish soup here the fish soup here they do it really well it has a good flavor to it like um, those fish bones you know, cooked for a long time flavor and then not too salty 
not overly salty, but still very well flavoured, very well done. Something that you come here to eat. This should, should be your main stop for coming here to eat. And this brings us to the end of our food adventure here at Geylang East Centre Food Corner. And I've shown you many delicious good food that you must come here to try because they are the highlights of this food center and many more food dishes that you have to try yourself because I cannot eat it all by myself I only have one stomach even though it sometimes feels like I have two in there anyway thank you very much for joining me for this food adventure please do me a favor please help me by liking my video sharing my video and subscribing to my channel and Lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure. See you there. Bye-bye.